Hi and welcome. You're watching an FEA overview. What is it and how do I do it? Finite element analysis, or FEA, is the process of breaking down complex shapes for which there are no mathematical equations to solve stress and thermal equations into many smaller and simpler shapes or elements that have individually known equations. These equations are then solved all together in a matrix to find an approximate stress distribution of the complex shape. The accuracy of this result depends on the accuracy of the information put into the study and the mesh accuracy. In general, there are five steps in a simulation, and this is represented in the Solid Edge Simulation Toolbar, left to right. You have the study definition, or what type of study you're performing. In this case, we'll look at a linear static analysis. Here, you also get to choose what results you want to end up with. All of Solid Edge simulation assumes the loads will be in the linear elastic material range. Hence, study names like linear static, which is the analysis of balanced forces at a single point in time, modal analysis, or finding resonant frequencies, buckling analysis, or how close the loads are to causing the model to buckle, thermal analysis, temperatures and heat loads, and combinations of thermal with the other study types. After you've selected the study type, simulation prompts you to select the geometry you wish to include in the study. You don't need to include everything you've modelled if you're only interested in some of the parts. There are also tools in the Simulation Geometry tab for generating specific geometry that will only be used for a simulation. These tools include things like mid-surface representations of sheet metal parts, or combining parts together for an analysis. Simulation uses the material properties already assigned to the parts, or, if there are none, it uses a default material. You then need to apply boundary conditions to the model, which is what is happening to your geometry. Things like how the model is loaded, how it is constrained, and how the parts are connected to each other. Make these as accurate as possible, as these are often the cause of errors in finite element analysis work, where boundary conditions are not carefully considered to apply the correct forces to the model. Also remember that you can use different types of connectors, glued, to fix two surfaces together and shear the load completely, or no penetration, which allows parts to push against each other or lift off as the loads determine. If you're using a no penetration connector, remember to specify the friction coefficient, as this is often overlooked. We also have the ability to fix parts together with bolts, with or without preload, and we can connect the edges of sheet bodies to solids or other sheets. Your model then needs to be meshed, and remember, the approximations in your mesh equal approximations in the equations used to calculate the results, i.e. the accuracy. However, there is a trade-off between too coarse a mesh, which gives large approximations and fast solution time, and too fine, which gives accurate results but takes a long time to solve. Lastly, you need to solve and post-process, which is the term given to reading the results. Solving just takes time, and post-processing is about showing the results that are of interest. Simulation initially scales the deformation of the model to 10% of the model size to highlight the movement in the model so you can see how it's deforming. This can be set to the actual deformation, a percentage of the model size, or a user-defined amount. Then you can select what results, from the ones specified in the study setup, you want to view. Things like stress, deformation, strain and others. Simulation also gives tools like ISO Contour, and this shows how the stress flows through the model, giving you contour lines of the same stress. Criteria plots allow you to see which elements are above or below a certain limit, and animation allows you to visualise how the model moves. Simulation also allows you to generate animations from the study, and also detailed reports which run through a summary of all the results and allow the user to give their introduction, conclusion, and add things like company logos. These can be output in a variety of standard formats. So that's a quick Solid Edge simulation overview. Enjoy seeing how your parts really behave under load. Thanks for watching.